I'm proud of who I am. I'm not afraid to hide it anymore. My name is Dwayne Stewart. I am from the Haiza and Nutanuk Nation. I was born and raised in Kinemet Village. My Haiza name is Jahid, and I am from the Raven Clan. The way I was taught being two-spirited means that I have both the male and female spirit in me, so I hold power from both spirits. I first realized I was gay when I was nine. I was really scared and confused. For me, it was really hard for me to feel comfortable telling other people. Just hearing the, the comments other people were making about gay people. But when I was in high school, I took part in a project called uh, Starring Your Own Stories. Through that project, myself and 11 other youth in my community, we had the opportunity of taking a little movie we made through that project. We were able to travel mostly through BC. Um, a couple of us got to go over to Toronto and through those travels, um, I was able to meet so many people, a lot of them being two-spirited themselves. Just talking to them and hearing their stories, it really gave me that courage to start coming out to other people and to really start feeling comfortable with being who I am. After I had graduated, I finally decided that I was ready to tell my parents. When I was finally ready to tell them, it was actually my mom who approached me and she told me that she actually knew right from when I was a little boy, she always knew and that she was always waiting for me to come out to her and uh, she said that she would always love me. <laughs> Sorry. It's always hard to, to tell that one. <laughs> um, she said she would always love me no matter what. And uh, she'd support me. She'd be there for me. And uh, that was just like a huge weight off of my shoulders. I'm to that point now where I'm not ashamed to show my pride. I work with Mike Dangeli. He's a Niska artist. My relation to Mike is through adoption. I've adopted him as my uncle. His studio is based out of the Aboriginal Friendship Centre here in Vancouver and him and his wife have taken me on as, as their apprentice and uh, through the dance group as well. Uh, he's training me to be a leader so that someday if I decide to start my own group I'll, I'll have his teachings and on how to, to be a leader in the dance group. So. I find culture to be very important to me because it's something that we almost lost through residential school. And it's culture is who I am. I grew up not learning my language because a lot of my elders didn't know how to speak it because of residential school. And so growing up, it showed me that my culture is important, that it should be important to me. It should be a part of my life. The pride flag on my regalia, showing the two spirits on my regalia, I feel it's kind of helping those who aren't out to anyone, showing them that there's Aboriginal people who are queer as well. The only difference is our skin. They shouldn't be scared to, to be themselves. Being myself has totally opened up so many doors for me. I felt that as a youth, I could be one of those role models to the next generation and show them that our culture doesn't have to go with us. It will continue through us. 